Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Back in 1999, at the height of the dot-com boom, NBC launched a new television series called The West Wing, created by screenwriter Aaron Sorkin. Now the show had a stellar cast, including film legend Martin Sheen as the President of the United States of America. And starring as the administration's Chief of Staff was John Spencer, a seasoned veteran actor who had been finding roles in television and film since the mid-1960s. Now in this video, I am taking a look at the career of John Spencer leading up to his role on The West Wing, and I'm discussing the strange parallels between the character he played in that show and his real-life persona. Now one of John Spencer's earliest roles was as a recurring character named Henry during the first season of The Patty Duke Show in 1964. John would then leave the Patty Duke show to focus on his education, attending Farley Dickinson University and then later New York University. However, his heart longed to be doing what he loved most, and he soon started finding roles in various TV shows and movies, including some of my favorite films from the 1980s, including appearing in the opening sequence of the 1983 surprise hit film, War Games. Now that opening sequence was truly frightening to my 12-year-old self when I saw this movie in the theater. He also made an appearance as an FBI agent in the 1987 movie Hiding Out, a film in which John Cryer stars as a stockbroker on the run from the mob and he decides to hide out from them by enrolling as a high school student. In 1989, John Spencer would land the role of Captain Oliver of the NYPD in the Ridley Scott film Black Rain starring Michael Douglas. Perhaps the biggest break for him though up to that point was when he landed a role in LA Law as Assistant District Attorney Tommy Mullaney. Now he would appear in 83 episodes spanning from 1990 through 1994. And then in 1999 he landed the role of White House Chief of Staff Leo McGarry in The West Wing. Now I saw an interview with Aaron Sorkin where he talked about the casting process and he mentioned that he said to the casting director that he wanted someone for Leo McGarry it was like John Spencer. And the casting director replied, why don't we just get John Spencer? Sorkin would go on to state that his initial thought was, we're never going to get John Spencer. But the next thing he knew, they got John Spencer. Now the crazy thing is this, and it's how similar John Spencer was in real life to the character he played on the West Wing. Now for beginners, both John Spencer and Leo McGarry were recovering alcoholics. In fact, in the fourth episode of the first season, after Leo McGarry's wife leaves him due to the fact that he puts his job ahead of her and their family, he ends up attending a very secret AA meeting that is held at the White House under the guise of a poker game between friends. John Spencer is awesome in this episode and I'm sure his own battle with alcoholism in his past allowed him to really understand what the character would be going through and what that allowed him to be able to deliver a very powerful performance. And in probably the craziest parallel between John Spencer's real life and that of his character on The West Wing is the fact that both the actor and the character died of a heart attack. Now in the sixth season of The West Wing, in an episode called The Burnham Wood, Leo McGarry and President Bartlett have just had a major disagreement over a policy and Leo tells the president that perhaps it's time for him to resign. Leo then wanders off to go for a walk in the woods and while doing so, he suffers a heart attack. Now it's not long after, during the seventh and final season of the show, that we learn that Leo McGarry has passed away, something that was written into the script following John Spencer's passing on December 16, 2005 of, ironically, a heart attack. Now here's one last picture of a young John Spencer from those early days on The Patty Duke Show. With a career as an actor that spanned over 40 years, I would call that a great success. And wow, how crazy are those parallels between John Spencer's real life and that of his West Wing character, Leo McGarry. Now here's where I want to hear from you. What are your memories of John Spencer? Do you have a favorite movie or show that he was in? I look forward to reading your comments. Also, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel where I talk about the movies, TV shows, and music that I loved and watched while growing up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe out there, and have a great day.